So now we have a different photo we're going to work with to isolate objects because there's still more different ways to cut out objects. So we talked about the magnetic lasso tool, which is really easy for high contrast areas. We talked about the pen tool, which is really great for smooth shapes and lots of curves. And the quick selection tool, the select subject option, which is only available for newer versions of Photoshop. So there's still a few more different ways to isolate and cut out objects. And it, one is called the quick selection tool. It's a relatively new tool. It's been around for a couple of years, but we're going to go ahead and try this quick selection tool. What I found is quick selection tool works really well for these nice clean background areas. So what we could do is we can click and select and just drag and it's just going to automatically sense similar colored pixels. And just like that, we were able to isolate that. So we can delete the background and then he's isolated. Just like that, we just went ahead and isolated him pretty quickly. It did a good job of kind of cutting around the hair. I mean, it's not perfect. You're not going to get every single pixel perfectly cut out, but I, I think that's pretty good. So that was the quick selection tool. I'm going to do that one more time. Go back and you can change your brush size of your quick selection tool. This is where it's at right here. And you can make it bigger if you want to have kind of a broader, quicker selection. Then you can select the inverse. So I'm just going to go up to select inverse. And so instead of selecting this, you're going to select the opposite. So that's select inverse and it's going to keep inversing it. And so now I can just select him. And what's great about this is now if I wanted to just turn him black and white, I can and keep the background color. So that's kind of nice to be able to have that option. And there's one more, it's kind of a sister, I guess you would say to the quick selection tool is the magic wand tool. So this is going to do the same thing as quick selection, but it's going to take a pixel sample and, and just do one spot. So it's just like a one click type of tool. So I'm going to click on this background. It's got mixed success. So it's not quite my favorite way to do it unless I'm really lucky and a background is super, super clean and simple, single color. So I'm going to click on the background and you can see how it's not quite as good as the, the, the quick selection tool. It still has some of these other ones. I can hold down the shift button and notice when I hold down the shift button and has this little addition sign. So when I hold down the shift and click, it'll add to my selection. So you get these little pixels left over. It's not quite as good. It's always nice if you're really in a jam and you just need to quickly select a background. Sometimes it's nice, but I really find that quick selection tool really kind of replacing the magic wand tool. So the magic wand tool was an older tool and the quick selection tool is kind of a little bit more updated of a tool.